Now, from uh, Shukulpurva, where Prajapati Gautami draped a kasaya garment over the Buddha's shoulder, and Bandusara, where the Buddha preached to eight king's sons and uh, 500 shakyas, all his clansmen, he, the Zhang Zhang takes us east to the palace's boundary wall and the palace's gate. Within the gate, there is a stupa which uh, uh, points out the place where the Buddha, what do you call it, uh, uh, took part in athletics. And outside the gate is a, the family temple. The family temple. That is Katia Naudiya, folks. Katia Naudiya. Now, why is it called, named Katia Naudiya? I will explain that. Zhang Zhang narrates the story that uh, after the king's, uh, uh, the Buddha's birth, uh, the, the, what do you call it, king Sudhodana, he would go with the Buddha uh, to his, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, to his garden that is uh, Rudhauli, which has been mispronounced as Lavani and which was mistranslated as Lumbini. And uh, that is Rudhauli. He is coming back from Rudholi. He is very tired, very tired. Anyway, he takes his infant son and all the Shakyas, they tell him, I mean all the sovereigns, the Shakyas, Shakyas is a mispronunciation of sovereign. The Shakyas tell him that, uh, what do you call it? It is auspicious and uh, what do you call it? All Shakya children, newborn children should take uh, blessings of this temple. Because when they take blessings of this temple, whatever they do, they are very successful. They are very prosperous. So King Sudhodana also, he takes his uh, a, a newborn son and into the temple. As soon as he enters the temple, the statue which is standing bends down and salutes. And uh, what do you call it? When Zhang Zhang sees, saw the statue, it was slightly bent down. It was slightly bent down. And the name also is Katia Naudiya. Katia means, you know, to bend down, bend your body. I mean, to cut your body down. And Naudiya, Naudiya means the new body. The new body means the infant child, the infant child. So that's where uh, the story, I mean, the name itself explains the story where this fellow, uh, this uh, statue bends down and uh, to the new body, to the infant child, the Buddha. So folks, that is uh, the Buddha's uh, family's uh, temple. You must, uh, what do you call it, uh, visit it. And okay, it is a Hindu temple, but it is the Buddha's temple, his family's temple. So, what do you call, you must pay homage to it and light some incense sticks over there. And don't forget to f tell you your uh, follow, um, if you like my uh, uh, video and you found it educative, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe to my page, Buddha Exhumed. And don't forget to tell your friends and relatives about it. And stay tuned because the next video will be on the place where the Buddha indulged in what do you call it wrestling the Bodhi Sattva, not the Buddha, the Bodhi Sattva Siddharth indulged in wrestling and archery that is outside the southern uh, gate of the palace area. See, Zhang Zhang gives us where the palace uh, walls are and an idea where the palace walls are and where the gates are. So, folks. Uh, Stay tuned.